This video is called Friend or Foe. So now, let me tell you, okay, for all of you all out there, you know, um, indecisive of who your friends are or people or, you know, listen, I know a lot of people and I've been around the block and then some, okay? So, um, you know, if I, if you see me looking to the side, I have my son here. Um, so let me just give you a little something to let you know how to like alleviate people out of your life. Like get rid of the, you know, weed out the motherfuckers. So I had a friend, right? She had asked me to claim her daughter this year. She just had another baby. She has four kids. I have four kids, right? But my kids are older, all right? The only one that's little is my, my younger son. Okay, so um, she's like, yeah, you know, um, can you clean my daughter? This and that and the third. Now, mind you, I told her from the beginning, like, um, I owe taxes, whatever the case may be. I'm not going to get that much money back. This and that and the third. So when I asked the test guy, because I was giving my son to his father, and I would take the money that he gives me and pay off the taxes, uh, he told me I was gonna go only going to get $900 back. I told her, yo, um, I want to get $900 back, blah, blah, blah. It's up to you. So she was like, uh, can you give me $1,700? I said, no, sure, no problem. You know, because you're doing me a favor, right? Now, all of a sudden, this morning, she texted me, like, uh, she did Toro tax, and she worked for security part-time, and she worked for Models, and she's getting way more money than that, la, 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 and she needs to educate herself on taxes, because people trying to be her in the head. You know, when you use words like this, it don't sit, sit well with Tasha. I don't like shit like this. But, um, uh, she's younger than me. She's, like, you know, um late 20s early 30s so she's about 30 29 30 okay i look at her like my niece and shit now tasha ain't never be anybody in the head i'm about my business and i'm about my money okay and i made it clear now let me just get to this so i said you know what so she was like i might as well clean my own daughter because i la la fine when i called the test guy this morning he said it's too late I already put it through I was like <laughs> fuck so um because I'm telling her to call me she was like oh I'm busy you know I'm busy with the baby blah, blah, blah. okay we doing this through text so now I said well it's too late because he already sent through so what are you asking from me now I went from 1700 to 3000 I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna try to diss her and this like this and that because my basis of the video is friend or foe all right so now it's three thousand i already gave her 340 borrowing money okay borrowing money for baby needs or whatever cool i said all right three thousand because now she has it in her to like you know she could audit me she could tell them well i didn't tell her to claim but i got the text message so we would both be fucked but this is how you do people i said all right nah ain't, ain't, no, ain't no need to go through that Right, I'll give you the three thousand. Now she doesn't know I do YouTube and shit like that, right? Lord, 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 Lord! If she knew I do YouTube, the bitch probably would be asking me for a hundred thousand. <laughs> you understand? I ain't even got it like that. But anyway, right? I said, all right. Now, if the bitch would have asked me for the three thousand before she asked for the seventeen hundred. I still would have gave it to her because she was still doing me a favor by me not having to pay taxes okay so when she did it like that i said all right what well, I, I have to pay you in installments all right i cannot you know i'll give you all right so 340 1700 is coming february 30 12 13 all right i'm gonna give you that so that will make it 2040 okay and then i'm on, i'm only gonna owe you 960 right let maybe uh, a little bit more than that but anyway um not even but here's the thing this is what i'm talking about friends and folk you're always gonna have people that borrow money that say that they're your friend and shit like that but they only see you as a come up you understand what i'm saying they they you know i i i call it the friends that covet 
okay they see you as oh yeah she's a come up this and that la 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 you don't you know you think they're your friend and shit like that but they really jealous and envious of your lifestyle and shit you know how you move and shit like that they think you got it like that because you maintain yourself well and you're not you don't ask nobody for shit you know you got to be careful with bitches like this okay and those are the bitches that will do you dirty um in the long run sleep with your man sleep with you know that you know because they so jealous and envious of you okay never be afraid to knock a bitch off her pedestal like bitch get out my face you ain't my friend never be afraid never okay never be afraid to walk alone never i could count my friends on three fingers that's how many friends i have okay i don't trust many and you shouldn't either okay if you don't drink and you don't smoke it say like for instance that you're a nerd Right? And you go to school, people make fun of you. Oh, you a nerd, this and that. The only way, the, the only reason that they make it fun of you is because you're smarter than them and you're going places. Them bum bitches that's making fun of you because I, I used to be one of them bum bitches making fun of people like, ah, look at this clown, this and that. I used to be, you know, very popular in school. Okay? It doesn't matter whether you're popular or not. If, if you're a nerd, that's okay. You're going places. Stick with like minded people. Okay? Because. All those other bum bitches that's making fun of you, and, and you know, it's gonna end up ain't about shit. Now me, I'm about my shit. Okay, so I didn't end up like that. But yes, I used to be one of those popular girls, like ah, corny bitch, this and that. Yes, I yes I was. Okay, but never let people peer pressure or people having sex. Oh yeah, you know I'm having sex. What you do? If you're a virgin, save yourself. Okay, cause there ain't shit out there but diseases and you know people popping your virginity getting you pregnant and ain't about shit okay stick with books you know friend or foe and it's the closest one that do it to you okay jealous of your household jealous of your lifestyle jealous of because you're pretty jealous you know sleep with your man this and that talk about you behind your back you know there's a, there's a lot of foul bitches out here and niggas and niggas and i'm talking about both niggas and bitches because niggas is the same way okay Try to set you up. Yeah, this nigga, this and that. La, 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 la. Yo, you don't have time for that. If you don't smoke cigarettes and you, you don't drink and you don't smoke weed or you don't do, use drugs, don't ever let anybody peer pressure you into something that you don't want to do. Never. Look, I don't do that. I'm sorry. I'm not about that life. Simple. Just because, uh, oh, you, you, oh, she corny because she don't drink and she don't. So what? Be corny. Guess what? In the long run, they're going to end up fucked up in the hood. That's where, all, that's where I left all my bitches at. <laughs> Once I woke up. Got it? So, friend or foe, who you rolling with? Who's around you? Because the closest to you is the one that always do you dirty. Best to believe that. Always. Always. Okay? Never, never allow anybody to play you too close. Know all your business. Know what you're doing, where you're going. Nah. Always maintain mysterious. Because a friend today could be an enemy tomorrow. Got it? So you see this bitch that she tried to play me with the fucking income tax and shit like that? I don't give a fuck about that. I'll give her a three G's. But after that, she dead. She don't even know about this YouTube shit. I don't give a fuck when she find out, whatever. But she's dead to me. She's dead. And she's... And, and guess what? In the long run, this is how you play motherfuckers. In the long run, she's gonna she's gonna suffer, not me. Hold on. She's gonna suffer, not me. Got it? You don't say shit. You just you you'll be like, alright, cool. Don't ever argue with an ignorant person. Especially if they feel like they have something over you. Just know that you have something over them. Just know that you ain't fucking with them no more. That's it. And gradually distance yourself. Oh, bitch, well, you ain't coming outside no more. This is that. Oh, I'm busy. And, and don't even ask, answer their phone calls. Change your number. Okay? Again. And hang out with people that's doing something with their life. Don't ever hang out with broke bitches. Because broke bitches make you, make you broke. All right? They ain't about shit. Always borrowing, never paying back. You know how many bitches owe me money right now? Be talking shit about me, but they owe me. You know, I started laughing when they come, when they started coming out with this $40. Because that's when the bitches we be borrowing $40. Oh, you got $40 here? You got $10? Bitch, you, you know, I'm from the hood. So this is how it is. Okay? 
And always, always, always go with your instincts. Always. Never second guess yourself. Okay? If you if it doesn't feel right, if you feel like uh something in your stomach or your don't ever it's like taking a test, an exam, right? You look you look at the answer, you look at the question and you see the answers, and you the first answer that you want, you say, ah, this is it. But then you second guess yourself. Never second guess yourself. Because guess what? Then you answer another answer, but guess what? The first answer with you, your instincts was a was the correct answer. And that's the, that's the same thing that I'm telling you. Always go with what you feel. If you don't feel it in the person, don't go with it. Don't allow anybody to control your life or to tell you, ah, ah, ah these are friends and foes. Never, eh, never, ever, ever um, be afraid to cut corny bitches off. Never be afraid of bitches trying to bully you and shit like that. B bitch, you trying to bully me? Nah. Never be afraid to, like, stand up and fight your ground. Okay? Never, ever, ever be afraid. All right, I'm not saying you know bitches is foul and shit, but all I'm saying is, don't ever, ever, ever let nobody peer pressure you or try to bully you or try to control your life. No, if you a nerd, you a nerd. Hang out like minded people that's going places. Don't hang out with. Don't try to be popular and be the bitch that oh yeah ah uh, making fun of people because because guess what that bitch ain't gonna turn out to be shit. Now nah, I turned out to be shit. Them other motherfucking bitches ain't turned out to be shit. They still living in the motherfucking hood. Got it? So that's it, friend or foe, and you need to know that who's on your side and who isn't. Okay, and never ever ever be afraid to cut people off. Never. So, this bitch that tried to do me dirty with this fucking in contact shit, she dead to me. She dead. And I know her for over 10 years. I don't give a fuck. I looked at her like a niece, but she tried to play me. So, anybody that trying to play you or play with your mentality, because at the end of the day, it's always come down to money. Friendship breaks up, break up over money. Men. Okay, because the closest one will do you dirty. They so envious and jealous of you and covered in your life. They sleep with your fucking man behind your back. It goes like that too. So never ever be afraid to walk alone. You was born by yourself, you die by yourself. That's life. Friend or foe. I'm possible. You're possible. Your girl NC Tasha Ty. I'm out.